Hello everybody, welcome to Greedfall. This will be part two of The Prince's Secret. We have to go talk to Bishop Demetrius. So let's get underway here. So the way to the palace, um, it doesn't make any difference if you turn left or right. I think uh, turning right will be uh, faster anyway because you end up in the same spot. And for me, anyway, it's an easier way to get there, and uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get lost. So you would end up right there anyway, and you end up going this way. And for the longer parts, I'm uh, just going to fast forward or give uh, the Sarde here a proton energy pill. Do you want from me, my son? Sir de Sarde, emissary of the congregation. Ah, the congregation still has the uncanny gift of surprising us. I am Bishop Domitius. I represent the Ordo Luminous on the island. What can I do for you? I believe you have a few problems with the Norts who reside in the port. We have problems with all matter of heretics, my son. And of course, the pagan noughts would be among them. They are very secretive and have all sorts of strange rituals that they keep to themselves under cloak of mystery. The sorcery they employ to guide their ships is drawn from nature, just like the sorcery used by the natives. And to top it all off, and this is where it stings. We suspect them to be at the origin of the Malachor. Whatever do you mean? How? Have you ever once crossed paths with a nought suffering from the blood plague? Why are they spared? The only logical reason is that they are at its origin, calling upon various cursed rituals. It's as simple as day. I am certain that we will find clues of their rituals and their pagan idols in their stockhouses in the port. Uh, very well. Let's just agree that these rumors need to be verified. Anything else? All right, we have to go back to the port, and there's I have a little bit of a different route to get there from here. Here we are. Good day, Desade. How can I help you? I met the representative of the Ordo Luminous, and he spoke of his fears concerning the Norts. That hardly surprises me. That man is full of pride and arrogance, and sees evil wherever he gazes. And that bishop is not made of milk and kindness, but his questions are intriguing. He suspects you to be somehow responsible for the Malachor because you never fall prey to it. Responsible for the Malachor? <laughs> and how? Through your magic. Some sort of ritual. Do you use a magic very similar to that of the natives? I have nothing more to say about it. Those are merely the fantasies of a lunatic. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. The commander will probably not tell us anything more about the Nort's secrets, but the documents at the Harbor Master's office may teach us something new, if we can stay discreet. All right, at this point, I have to... Uh... Why won't it go there? I need Siora's uh, navigator coat, so... That's the only thing, uh, or we can put that, that looks a little nicer. <laughs> I 
We'll put that on her. And then uh, I'm going to put the navigator's coat on. And then that way, when we go in there, no one's going to say a word because I mean, we look like a knot. Might as well grab some loot while we're up here. This note speaks of a secret hangar. We should investigate, even though it's sure to be well guarded. That way we'll know exactly what the Nords are hiding from us. All right, the warehouse is right at the end. Well, there's a couple ways you can get there, but uh, I'm just going to go the main way over here. Out of my way. Yeah, this might be a little longer, but it's easier to get there this way. I thought I could go around that way. All right, so we have a little of equipment here. I've already seen this type of engine in my uncle's court. It's used to spy upon the stars. Mm. Nothing magic nor impure therein. They're nothing but measuring instruments. These machines are extremely complex. I've never seen anything like this. Oh. This one looks like it has a shouting dolphin etched into its side. And that, it looks like a thermometer. And this other machine, does it really predict the weather? Okay, I think that's it. Art no, <laughs> I was wrong again. There's something else here. What's this? These instruments are incredible, and I would be hard pressed to use them. But I certainly see nothing magic in here, nor anything diabolical. For as long as they work and are really used, these instruments seem to be the product of science. And I've definitely found nothing related to the Malachor, nor a secret sect or cult. <sighs> This Domitius has let his imagination and the taste of naught secrets get the best of him. Okay, now we have to go to the... Uh, we ended up back upstairs for some reason. Now our priority is to discover what this great purification is. Missed a chest right here. All right, so this is the other way that we could have came. So now we have to go to the uh, Ordo Luminous headquarters. I think we can get there this way. All right, yeah, now we're in the main square. 
Might as well collect a little loot while we're here. So there's a, a little bit of a battle here coming up. of a match. Okay, here's the incriminating evidence. We must meet with the Mother Cardinal urgently. Only she can put an end to this madness. All right. All that's left to do now is not to go back into that room. The controls is a little bit wonky inside. have an audience with the Mother Cardinal to discuss the discoveries made during our investigation. What is this about, Domitius? Well, I don't rightly know. You see, Eminence, Bishop Domitius has brought to my ears his order's accusations concerning the Noughts. According to him, they practice a religion close to those of the natives and use a nature-drawn magic. They would also be implicated, therefore, in the appearance of the Malachor. That is an extremely serious accusation. Effectively, considering the accusation is founded on no proof other than the Nort's tradition of secrecy. But these suspicions have pushed the Order to extreme actions, risking the fragile peace of the island. The Ordo Luminous captured several Nort's, locked them in jails rented to them by the Coin Guard. They were tortured with the singular goal of forcing them to admit heresy. They obtained nothing. If I had not intervened, these men would be dead. Is this true, Domitius? Some of our brothers undoubtedly misinterpreted the evil. I would have never allowed such a plan. These noughts are now united with their captain, and I am certain they would be most eager to bear testimony. Following up on the accusations of Bishop Domitius, I wanted to verify for myself what this was all about. I went to take a look at their storerooms and saw what they contained. There were neither idols, nor objects of any ritual, nor even anything magical. And absolutely nothing that could be attributed to the origin of the Malachor. I found nothing but measuring instruments and diverse navigational machines. I caught wind of a ridiculous scheme planned for the port by the Ordo Luminous, and I wanted to clear it up. I was able to get my hand on documents that effectively detailed an attack. A great purification. They were signed by you, Father and included a contract where you enlisted the assistance of the coin guard to attack every naught building and make prisoner of every one of their men that could be taken alive. Domitius, how could you? Whatever did you want to accomplish? The noughts are not believers. We should not be dependent on heretics. Have you gone completely mad, Domitius? We are on an island. How could we not be dependent on the noughts? I want them arrested. Him and every member of his order. I will decide at a later time their fate. I thank you for bringing this business to my attention. Going after the noughts. What madness. Without you, this city would now be drowning in chaos. Carry my best wishes to your cousin. His desire to maintain the peace on the island honors his house's reputation. I will tell him, your eminence. Until we meet again.
All right, uh, that's not quite the end of the mission request. We have to go back and talk to the uh, Admiral. Desarde, what can I do for you? I've settled the problem in San Mateus. Several of your men were imprisoned by the Ordo Luminous. The misguided brothers planned to attack the port. I had them arrested. They should no longer be a threat to you. The Order thought you to be heretics because of your tradition of secrecy. The secrets? They often cut both ways. Therefore, I'm going to reveal to you another. We discovered this island nearly two centuries ago. A few decades later, we sold the discovery to your nation of merchants. Then, our closest allies. We transported some lords, men and merchandise. They began to colonize the island. The lords revealed themselves to possess a tyrannical nature and began to exploit the lands with a deadly passion. Their actions provoked a revolt of the natives, but also the very workers and craftsmen they had brought with them. The magic of the natives of Tirfredi was awoken. Beasts came out of the woods and destroyed the new cities. Only a handful of lords and armed men were able to make it back to our ships. The losses were enormous. The humiliation, devastating. Your princes paid us well to keep their secret. They continued to make the occasional expedition. You are, in fact, a product of one of them. What are you saying? You must have had your doubts. You are the child of a native. You were born on one of our ships. The child of an islander? But I know who my mother is, and... I understand how difficult this is to hear. And I wouldn't know why your family has kept this from you all this time. In the end, we decided to sell the secret location of the island to other nations. The congregation, in spite of its fears, could not keep away. And here you are again. I am sorry for the shock I have caused you. You asked me for the truth, and now you have it. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. I can't believe it. That for all this time, I've been fed lies. They're constant in no. I must... I must go and see him. I understand you may be sad because you were lied to. But do not be sad about who you are. We are a proud people, and I am glad to know that you are one of us. All right, so this isn't quite the end of the mission either, but uh, I'm going to end the video here because the, the end of this mission morphs right into the next one. So I'd like to say thank you to everybody who subscribed to my channel. I'd like to encourage everybody else to subscribe, please. If you want me to keep you posted whenever I upload a new video, just click the bell at the top right. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.